When disaster strikes a city, preparedness can be the difference between minimal disruption and catastrophic economic and physical damage or loss of life. In recent years, there have been an unusually high number of hydrometeorological and climate related disasters, particularly in Asia. Past experience has shown that the first government respondents to a disaster are local governments, geographically close to the community. Given this fact, what steps should you be taking to minimize impact? Evaluating the unique set of risks and strengths of your city is a crucial first step to understanding what kind of contingencies you need to prepare for and when and how to respond in the event of a catastrophe. The Climate and Disaster Resilience Initiative, CDRI for short, was developed jointly between the Kyoto University, CityNet, TDLC, SEEDS and UNISDR, RTFURR. The program walks you through the steps of creating a city profile, which will communicate in a very easy to understand way where your city stands on a number of key factors relevant to disaster risk management. Participating in this program will guide you through evaluating your city situation, creating a city profile and turning that into an action plan. You'll have everything you need to communicate your plan to other key policymakers and get started with implementation. So, what does the program consist of? This program consists of three stages. The first is a pre-study course in which you will learn how to evaluate your city's unique strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats and develop a city profile while learning about the fundamentals of disaster risk management. The course utilises a complete blended learning methodology, including an online classroom for discussions and core learning materials, as well as online video content and live video conferences. All of the learning materials have been developed for busy people and are quick and easy to absorb. The second stage is a face-to-face -face action workshop in Malaysia. You will take an intensive workshop together with participants from other Asian cities. Direct communication between participants is an important element of the workshop and will give you the opportunity to consult with a range of practitioners facing similar issues. The last stage is to make your city's action plan and implement it in your location. We will provide long-term knowledge support and progress monitoring to help ensure maximal success for your plan over the long term. Now, let's hear from some people who participated in a previous iteration of this course. The workshop was quite useful for evaluating several indicators in measuring the resiliency of the city against the onslaught of a particular disaster and on how existing action plans can be further improved. The CDRI is encouraging and helpful for us in improving our plan of action and increasing our city's resiliency against disaster. The workshop on CDRI was a learning experience for me. I was happy to collaborate with the city managers and get feedback from the real situations in city management. The field work also helped us to know more about my city and its climate and disaster related problems. It also helped in making the networking with the cities. So what we are trying to do through this initiative is to enable city government to enhance their capacity, especially to increase the resilience uh, of the cities and we are trying to look at five different elements uh, of the resilience, uh, physical, natural, economic, social and institutional. So um, uh, you will do this study or you will uh, take this course and hope that through this course you will be able to bring some of the action planning process like what you learn through the CDRI initiative to bring it into the action planning of your respective cities. You know that this year, 2010 and 2011, next year, these two years has been designated as the Safe City Campaign by UNISDR, uh, International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. So there are lots of initiatives which will be ongoing in these two years, especially focusing on the urban risk reduction. 
uh, there is a task force of uh, Asia, what we call it Asia Regional Task Force for Urban Risk uh, Reduction and on behalf of the task force we are very much looking forward to working with you, with your cities and to make the cities uh, more resilient in the next two years. As was mentioned earlier, all materials are kept as concise as possible. This project is focused on spending less time on theoretical study and more time on actual planning and implementation. We will give you the tools you need to prepare your city to contend competently with whatever nature throws at you. Please take maximum advantage of these tools to prepare your city.